is today. So you've clearly been baptized before. Yeah. I was seven years old and I didn't know like what a relationship with the Lord was or how to maintain that. It wasn't clear. And I was just going through the motions and just doing it because I was told to and it was what well, looked good. Growing up, there was a lot of emotional neglect and I was constantly being told that Jesus loved me by people who would hurt me. So I would put all the blame on God. There was something missing and it was like I kind of knew what was missing. I just ignored it because I was too prideful for that. I was very like suicidal and just hated everything. During that time, my parents still dragged me to church every week. I was surrounded by people. Like I wasn't alone, but it was very lonely. I started talking to my disciple Reagan before I rededicated the light and the presence and the peace she brought with her was so refreshing. Obviously it was like the Lord like working through her to get to me, but like I wanted that. I wanted that joy and that peace and that confidence. What brought you from me to God? It would be like the worship music that you would play in your car. And then just like the overwhelming I felt from that. And then I would listen to it and listen to like different worship songs. And the God that I was shown throughout my childhood and that people were showing me and the God that was judging me was completely different from the God that Reagan served and, the, and who she spoke about. So I came home from a friend's house and I, you know, just hopped in my bed and started scrolling on TikTok. And I came across a video that was um, telling a story about a fence and how on one side, it's Jesus, his angels, heaven, and on the other, it's um, Satan and the demons and whatever. And this guy is like on the fence and he's like going through life on the fence. He's not choosing a side. And um, so he gets to the end of the fence and Jesus and his angels goes, go one way. The, demons and Satan goes the other but Satan comes back and he's like there you are like come with me the guy he was like I didn't choose him but I definitely did not choose you and Satan was like the fence is mine and I was I started crying started sobbing because I was on the fence I was living the double life I you know put a mask on in, in the church and then just did whatever I wanted and said whatever I wanted outside. I just started praying for the first time in like years and like meaning it. And um, I like started like repenting and just a bunch of different like sins came to mind and like re and things I don't even remember like I started repenting from. And then I just like the peace after and the comfort and the validation and the confidence. So it was just something I'd never experienced. And I was like, okay, this is like legit. Like this is real. What's it like now? I was living for the world so vocally and so passionately. And it's like, to me, it's a way of saying like, 
no, like I'm finally living and speaking passionately about like the Lord.